You know that warm and fuzzy feeling you get when you have a nice hot cup of coffee and a really big breakfast? It's cold. I could use that right about now. Let's buzz on in to the Hive East Coast Kitchen. The whole place is super homey. And everyone's really welcoming when you come in. It's awesome. You feel like you're at home. Everything feels like homemade. They say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And here at The Hive, these folks take that mantra very seriously. We are your escape for the hour that you're going to be with us. We want to take care of you just as much as we take care of our family. Jess Fetty is originally from New Jersey. She came to Northern Kentucky in 1989, where she grew up in the family's pizza place. In April of 2022, she decided it was her turn to bring a little East Coast flavor to the area. I love to show our love through our food. And when it comes to the menu, that's where they find something that they've never had before and they find something that they'll very much enjoy. You can leave that to Jess's dad, Vito. I try to be the inspiration as much as I can. At breakfast, we're thinking about coordinating so that things can be done in an efficient, fast manner. Eggs cook relatively quick, so we try to pair everything else with eggs that with the time span that it takes to make eggs. So we, we, we prep everything in advance and then build the menu around being able to do things efficiently. You guys are big on the bowls here. Which right. one are we gonna make today? I think we're gonna make a Jersey girl today. The base of the Jersey girl is gonna have some potatoes. Then he's gonna go for the Italian sausage next and he'll saute that all up. Diced onions. Diced peppers. The Thank eggs you. are going in last, obviously, because it's gonna be the thing that cooks the quickest. Good flip on eggs always helps them cook faster. We use his spatula to go into the bowl. We put a little dose of cheddar cheese on top. Because of course. Because why not? Will you eat it with me? I, I, I try to stop me. I, why would I? Wow. You eat this to start your day, you might end up back on the couch. Yes. Feeling as warm and cozy as humanly possible. But you're going to be Enjoying yourself. Yes, you are. That's the whole point of food. All right, here in the tri-state we have Geta, but in New Jersey you have something else. Okay, well, it's, it's a Southern Jersey um, uh, delicacy. It's called pork roll. Generally, we call it pork roll here, um, but we use the Taylor brand, which is the original concept of this collection of meats. It's um, it's a very hard thing to understand, but it's a very delicious thing to eat. There's only one way to understand something that's unexplainable yet delicious. That's to eat it. Give it a try. We slice it up. It's have a pretty decent amount of fat. It's got a lot of fat. That's one of the things that's wonderful about it. And that's where you get that uh, sizzle on the that's, griddle. That's exactly right. It's gonna take a brioche bun and he's gonna put a little butter on each side of it. And he's gonna sear it off on the flat top. Put a nice little crust on the, on the bun. See how it cups up a little bit. We do have a lot of customers who they've had their first pork roll sandwich ever here and come back for it on a regular basis. Stack them up. He uses a yellow American cheese. Classic. Because that is creamy and yummy. I know people who add ketchup. I know people who add mustard. I have some people put lettuce and tomato. Um, you can do almost anything with pork roll you, you want. Check that out. It tastes like something my mom would make for me. <laughs> and it's so familiar, yet I've never had it before. Yeah. How about that? That's what we're going for. You ran the full gauntlet here, didn't you? That, well, actually, this is the basic egg plate. That's the basic this plate? This is the basic plate. Yes, and it's moly. extraordinary. The get is extraordinary, as you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's a local kind of thing, local favorite. But the marmalade is homemade marmalade. Wow. Just extraordinary. She had the potatoes and yeah. was like in love with it. She was screaming like, Mama! Was it the best? Was it the best? So you see it all was over it my best? face? It was great. <laughs> all right, Martha, ready? You ready? Are you ready? There you go. Now, I'm going to put some marmalade on another piece. That is quesadilicious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is just my, I don't know, I, my outward expression of love for, for my community. It's a universal language of love. Food. It is. Right? I know. It connects everybody. I know. Home is where the food is. <laughs> yes. Right? That is a great, oh my gosh. Put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> Home is where the food is. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Well, folks, I am full. I am happy. 
And you know what? I finally see what all the buzz was about. We'll see you next time on Cooking with Clements. High five! There it is. Oh, good girl. The high five. <laughs> Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.